the four soldiers killed had spent barely three years in military service. Two are believed to be from Tamil Nadu, two others are from Karnataka. The four were in their early 20s. India Today's Manjeet Sehgal is on ground zero. Abhishek Bhalla and Shivaroor both have been tracking the story very closely. Shivaroor joins me on the broadcast. And for a military perspective on the story, we're joined by Lieutenant General Sanjay Kulkarni, former Director General of Infantry, and Colonel Rohit Dev. He's a former mechanized infantry commanding officer. He's also a geopolitical analyst who joins us on the show. Manjeet, I want to begin by asking you, what more do we know of the attackers? Have they been identified? You've accessed the FIR. What more do we know of operations right now at 10 o'clock at night? What more do we know? Well, Guru, as far as the operation is concerned, it is continuing. Both the police and the, uh, their military counterparts are on it. Uh, the investigations are currently on. And as far as the attackers are concerned, their identity has not been revealed. Uh, the police has registered a case under Arms Act and a murder case against two unidentified persons who were covering their faces, faces and uh, wearing a night suits, were in plain clothes when uh, they killed the four Javans and were coming out of uh, uh, their, uh, their the quarters. And... Uh, they were noticed by an eyewitness who uh, was their uh, colleague. Uh, this is the only information available about the attackers. But as Stay far as for a moment. this case and uh, investigation is concerned, Gaurav, there are... Okay, go on, complete your point, sir. Go on. Well, Gaurav, as far as the investigation is concerned... Uh, the, uh, there are many unanswered questions, uh, particularly the INSAS rifle, which was reported missing, and it has now been found with a magazine. The question is whether this rifle was used to kill these four Javans or not. If this rifle was not used, then uh, how these attackers managed to get another INSAS rifle as the shells of INSAS rifles were... Uh, rifle okay, were we'll try and make sense of this. I want to bring in Shiv Arur. Shiv, you've been speaking to your sources both in the Army headquarters and in Southwest Command. What more have you been able to gather so far, Shiv? Uh, you know, Gaurav, it's uh, over 18 hours since the incident took place uh, and it, it's uh, pretty incredible that the search for those two individuals uh, is still very much on. It's pretty disturbing to uh, think, the fact, uh, you know, think about the fact that both uh, the shooters or one of the shooters uh, or those two people are still at large, uh, you know, either inside the Batinda cantonment or outside it. We don't know uh, because uh, only three statements have come out from the army so far. The last one only... Uh, confirms that the weapon, uh, you know, uh, an INSAS rifle which had been stolen a couple of days ago has been recovered with some missing rounds uh, and forensic uh, uh, examination is happening to see if that is the, indeed the rifle that was used, uh, you know, to kill those four young Javans who were sleeping uh, in that artillery unit mess. Uh, uh, you know, early in the morning uh, today when, uh, you know, when those shots were fired. Uh, uh, the FIR that has been lodged as part of this joint investigation by the Army and the Punjab Police says uh, there were two attackers. One of them had an INSAS rifle. The other apparently had some kind of an axe. Uh, both of them were in kurta pajama, not in uh, combat fatigues. Uh, they were both wearing corona masks. They ran away, uh, you know, into a wooded area uh, immediately after this particular attack. Uh, you know, there were a couple of eyewitnesses who have been questioned as part of the investigation so far. Uh, but what I I gather because very little is officially coming out from the army uh, but what I gather which remains still in the realm of speculation we should tell our viewers uh, is that this was some kind of an internal dispute uh, within the uh, artillery unit uh, it could have pertained uh, to, to some administrative issue possibly even leave uh, you, you, many of my sources are talking about leave uh, being the uh, you know the, the the bone of contention and as outlandish and absurd as that may sound uh, this is something that is a uh, has been a major sticking point uh, in many disputes in the past as well uh, you know within army units but this particular one obviously snowballed, there may have been some aggravating factors as well, uh, and things took this terribly, terribly violent turn. So we don't know all the facts, okay. so we don't want to make a conclusion as, that, uh, as far as that is concerned. 